Hi. Oh, hey. What is this place? This is a signals lab at UTS. Okay, so what kind of stuff do you do in here? In here, students build electrical circuits and test them out. And what kind of engineering would you be studying? Generally, electrical engineering or biomedical. And what did you study? I studied biomedical. Okay, so what are you doing right now? Um, right now, I'm just having a look at this electrical circuit and seeing if I can um, check the signal out. Okay, so break that down a little bit for me. So here is a breadboard and it's got a circuit on it using capacitors and resistors and I'm trying to put some filters in place to see if I can make this line a little bit clearer. That line kind of reminds me like a hospital screen. Yeah, it's actually really similar to what the um, ambulance and paramedics use for defibrillating people's hearts and checking their rhythms. So what year would you learn how to build this? Generally in my third year. So third year, how many years did you study? I studied for five years in total. So what, what was your course? I did biomedical engineering and marketing at UTS. That's such an interesting mix, <laughs> engineering and marketing. Why did you pick it? Here you go, you'll need these. Thank you. I really liked working with people and learning about consumers, but I also really like the human body. Okay, so with that course, you said it's five years. How, how does it work subject-wise? So subject-wise, if you did engineering on its own, you'd get to do electives, but when you do a double degree, they just fill up those elective slots with the extra subjects from your second degree. Okay, cool. So what's this here? Um, this is a soldering station. Interesting. What are you doing? Um, I'm just going to solder these two resistors onto this board. Okay. So you've graduated now? Yeah, I'm done. And where do you work? Um, I work for Stryker. They're a medical device company. Okay. And so what does that mean? What do they do? They produce medical devices, surgical equipment, spine and neurovascular system products, as well as um, emergency and patient care products and orthopedic implants. So day to day you walk into work, what do you do? Day to day I walk into work and I pick up some equipment, I test it, I pull it apart, I problem solve to find out what's wrong with it, I fix it and I send it back to the hospital. Interesting. So would you be soldering? I solder every day. Cool. So I, I think it's so interesting. I didn't know how many jobs existed in that biomedical field. Yeah, there's actually a lot and they're really different as well. You can be working with um, you can be working as a sales representative, which is a really important part of our business. You can also be working in clinical research and engineering design. And you can also be a field service engineer, which means that you could go out to hospitals and repair um, big equipment on site. So how did you get a job after graduation? So I did two internships while at uni, one for business and one for engineering. And I got both of my um, graduate jobs off the back of those internships. And would you recommend studying at UTS? I really would. UTS was really great and supportive when it came to finding internships as well as um, helping me figure out what it is I like to do. Well, it looks like I've got your hands full, so we might show ourselves out. Alright, bye. bye.